Yeah, well, so indeed there were several raids again tonight, and in one of the raids um, they managed to capture and arrest uh, Salah Abdeslam. Um, now the raids are still going on, so basically they're looking for further um, evidence and also further persons as well besides of uh, Abdeslam. Um, but he, for sure, that is confirmed by the federal parquet, is arrested. He has been arrested. Uh, so that's, yes, indeed, confirmation. Do we know whether other people were or are in the property where the police found him? No, at this moment, they uh, did not confirm whether there were other people uh, in the property or if other people were arrested. But what we know is that the raids are still continuing. So basically, they're still looking for other persons. So the raid is very much ongoing. So do we assume that there is, as we saw on Tuesday, of course, in, in the raids in Molenbeek, that there is a, a lot of police activity and a big cordon and members of the public being kept back from everything that's going on? Yes, for sure. There is lots of police vans, lots of secret police as well. There is lots of uh, movement uh, around the neighbourhood of Molenbeek, and not only Molenbeek, because also elsewhere in Brussels, there are several police raids going on at this moment. Um, so yes, um, they are very active, and uh, it is also, of course, because of the, the raid earlier this week that they are continuing with these raids, because fingerprints were found of the Islam. So that was the lead um, to further, um, further raids. Uh, and, and is it fair to say, Annabelle, that there will be uh, some relief here on the part of the Belgian authorities because a lot of questions have been asked about why it appears he was able to get away from that flat that was raided on Tuesday? I think relief is indeed the, the right word, although that we can assume that with finding Abdel Slam one, one problem might be solved, but of course not the entire problem, because what is shown over the last couple of weeks is that this network is very broad, that Abdel Slam is just one figure in that network, and that besides him, lots of other people are playing a, a big role, and maybe even a bigger role than him as well, in um, not only the Paris attacks, but the entire terror network in Europe. And again, this is again focused on this one particular suburb of Brussels. Just remind us, tell us a little bit more about uh, Molenbeek and why so often, regrettably, there has been this focus on this particular suburb. Well, of course, you can say a lot about the suburb itself. Um, there, there is a social, mo socially more difficult area um, uh, of Brussels is more big, but for sure we can also add that this is not the reason. I mean, how I see it is that one of the guys, one of the major guys in the Paris attacks and in uh, the ISIS network, um, Abdel Hamid uh, Abaoud, um, that he is playing a major role and he recruited lots of other people in that neighborhood as well. Um, friends of his, like Salah Abdel Islam, were youth friends of him. So that is, of course, something that we see, but we cannot say that Molenbeek itself is. Uh, as other media would say, um, the heart of terrorism in Europe, because there are several other uh, places in Brussels and also in Belgium and also elsewhere in Europe that play a major role.